The following contest is scheduled for one fall! Hey, what's going on? Um, welcome, again. If you don't know by now, my name is Mr. Unter. These are my WrestleMania predictions. WrestleMania, the granddaddy of them all. Bigger than the Super Bowl. I'm just kidding. But to me it is. Um, it's next Sunday. I'm excited. Can't wait. Um, I'm going to give you my predictions and who I would personally like to see, or personal results I would like to see. Um, let's go down the list. The Bunny Mania Lumberjack match. Let's skip that. Pointless match. I'm probably going to be in the bathroom while that's going on. So, um, JBL vs. Finley. It's a tough call. But I would see Finley winning this. Um, that whole feud that's been going on between the two is just kind of devastating because Horn Swaggle got the ever-living crap kicked out of him. and Yeah, Finley's going to unleash unholy hell on uh, JBL. And I feel that it's... I mean, it is a brawl match, but I feel it's going to be similar to JBL versus Jericho at the Royal Rumble where it's just a brutal match. Not too much wrestling, but it should be exciting either way. Finley, JBL, two of the biggest brawlers in the WWE. We'll see. 24-man um, battle royal. Winner faces ECW champion. Um, I don't watch much of ECW unless there's a good match going on. Um, I really don't know what to say about this match. It's pretty much, hey, let's just involve ECW in the WrestleMania so they're not the uh, bastard child of the WWE and um, let's throw every jobber that's remaining on the uh, roster list into WrestleMania so they're not left out I don't know um, 24 men it's hard to predict who will win most likely Chavo will retain I really can't tell who's gonna win that battle royal who, who, who do you have really that's left maybe Kane I think Kane yeah Kane. Kane's my prediction. Kane. Sticking with Kane. Um, Smackdown versus Raw. Batista versus Umaga. Umanga. Sorry. Um, excuse my ignorance, but I really don't watch much of Smackdown or ECW. I'm basically a Raw guy. Um, just doesn't entertain me anymore. Oh well. Um, but I do predict Batista winning this match. Um, I mean, we all know that Raw is the dominant brand. And we all know how much of a huge babyface Batista is. So, I mean, not to throw SmackDown on the crapper, I feel that WWE would have Batista coming up in this match and being the winner. That's my prediction. Um, I really don't care who wins. Umaga. I'll pick Umaga. Money in the Bank ladder match. I think this is going to be the best match of the entire night every single guy except for John Morrison I feel deserves some kind of push um, possibly a title run definitely number one contender spot um, you got Jericho MVP Kennedy Shelton Benjamin Carlito CM Punk and John Morrison um, I don't know who's gonna, actually no I do know who's gonna win I feel that Mr. Kennedy is gonna win because uh, I mean he won last year he had to give it up to it in an injury. Um, afterwards, he uh, was suspended for 30 days or so. So there, you know, there went his push. Was squashed. But I feel like uh, this will be the match that redeems his uh, redeems his actions from last year. Um, so I think Kennedy's gonna come up on top, and he might have a good year. If not, then Jericho. Um, although he is the IC champ, it would be pretty nice to see. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil my you know, my uh, upcoming predictions. I think Triple H is gonna win the WWE title, and it would be interesting to see a feud between Jericho and Triple H because those feuds are always pretty good. I must say they put on some uh, pretty entertaining matches. And it'll be the IC champ versus the WWE champ. It'll be classic. It'll be it might be even be the feud of the year. It's a possibility, but Kennedy's still my choice. Technically, I don't care who wins this match. Every guy, every guy in this match is a great athlete, great competitor. They all deserve a push, except for John Morrison. Um, 
So any any anybody, just anybody. Um, next match, Flair versus Shawn Michaels. We all knew that ever since uh, Ric Flair had the uh, "If you lose, you have to retire" clause. We all know that you know he wasn't gonna win forever. He he wasn't gonna win the entire year, every match he had. Um, but what better way to lose than you know on the biggest stage of them all in wrestling, WrestleMania, um, against you know someone, an iconic figure in the business, Shawn Michaels. I mean. This has to be, this also has potential to be a great match. I mean, Shawn Michaels, great wrestler, great entertainer. Uh, Ric Flair, also a great wrestler, great entertainer. But it's obvious that he's he's past his prime, and he, you know his age is showing. Um, but I don't think he's going to be afraid to go all out in this match. It's probably going to be his last match. Um, so this is going to be a very entertaining match. My prediction: Shawn Michaels is going to come out on top. Um, and he, I, you know. I do want Shawn Michaels to come out on top, um, and it'll put another notch into Shawn Michaels' belt. You know, he's got enough notches in his belt, but it's gonna add another one. So this is gonna be a good match. Floyd Money Mayweather versus The Big Show. Most promoted match in uh, for WrestleMania this year, but I really don't have any interest in it. I don't know what type of match it'll be. If it's gonna be wrestling, if it's gonna be boxing, if it's gonna be MMA, I don't know. But, um, my choice, Money Mayweather. Um, only because any celebrity that's featured in a WrestleMania event usually comes out on top. Um, although Donald Trump didn't wrestle, he won the match last year. Uh, Lawrence Taylor. Um, I can't think of anyone else. But yeah, celebrities always come out on top. What celebrity loses in a wrestling match, you know? It'll be bad publicity for them, so. Uh, my choice is Money Mayweather. I really don't care who wins that match, but if I had to choose, Big Show. I think Big Show has really improved himself. You know, he's 100 pounds lighter. He's faster, he looks better. Good for you, Show. Good job. Um, Undertaker versus Edge for the championship title. Streak versus Streak. And last year didn't count, because Edge was injured. Um, really didn't have a choice but to lose that match, so, us, uh, Smarks, uh, know that Edge is still, uh, still has a win streak at WrestleMania. So it'll be win streak versus win streak, title on the line, uh, it's very hard to say. I would be shocked if Edge won, you know, if he were the one to end Undertaker's WrestleMania streak, but I also believe that would put a notch in his belt, um, Edge is a great entertainer. He's done a lot for the business. If he were to be the, beat the Undertaker, be the one who ends Undertaker's streak, I think he deserves it. But I think Undertaker's going to win this one. Because uh, last year he had the title, had to give it up due to an injury. And he did lose it to Edge. Yeah. Due to an in because of an injury. So um, I think Undertaker's going to win back his title from Edge. A uh, title that he never lost. Um, so it's going to be a pretty, pretty interesting match. Um... In the last match, the triple threat match, um, this is also a pretty interesting match. To be honest, I hated the whole idea of it being a triple threat, because I feel like sometimes when a huge triple threat match like this is uh, main evented at any pay-per-view, it's usually like these two guys feuding and the third man just kind of like stands in the background and gets squashed. But this is not really the case. Um, Triple H, John Cena, Randy Orton, they've each shown an equal amount of dominance uh, in this feud for the past couple of weeks. So, it's... We all know Orton's not going to win. That's my prediction. Orton won't win. My prediction will actually be Triple H. I think, uh, I think think he sat on the sidelines of uh, mid, the mid-card bench for quite a while. It's been almost two years, I think. Maybe. Um... So my my guess is going to be Triple H. John Cena's been WWE's golden boy. He's uh he's been on top for so long. I think it's time for something new, but at the same time something old, something nostalgic. Triple H being champion. This might lead into good uh, Cena Triple H feuds. Um, but he is my choice. 
who I would like to see win, Randy Orton. I think Randy Orton has shown him, uh, shown us that he's a uh, he's a credible heel. Uh, he's very dominant as a as a champion, unlike a lot of uh, other heel champions. Um, but I, it would be a huge shock to me if Randy Orton came out on top. That would be huge. So overall, I think. Just like every WrestleMania, it's got its bad matches, it's got its good matches. It has the potential to be great, though. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And we'll you know, check out my hits and misses next week.